The 16th annual Latino Film Festival is coming up this week, and it's your chance to see Latin cinema at its best. Founder and executive director Ethan Van Tilo is here now to tell us all about it. Thanks for coming in, Ethan. Yeah, thanks for having Appreciate me. Appreciate it. So you started this. Yeah, 16 years ago, it start, started as a small student film festival, but now it's grown to an event that's expecting 20,000 people. I'm kidding. Over 170 films we're screening, actors and directors coming from Spain, all over Latin America. So it's really a big celebration of Latino film and Latino culture. Really? That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. now, I mean, San Diego's what? What's, what's our population now as far as... Um, yeah, about 30% like, are Latinos, 30, and right. so it's an amazing event that celebrates the Latino culture, but also we want to invite everyone to this film festival. You don't have to be Latino to see the Latino festival. Right. All the films have English subtitles. Okay. There's films in English, Spanish, Portuguese, and that's the exciting thing about the film festival is that it shows the diversity of the community. I think early on in Latino cinema, everyone thought it's just like well, East L.A., Chicano culture. Sure, sure, sure. But no, we have films from Argentina, Chile, Peru, ah. Brazil, Spain. So I always tell people, you know, it's like if you want to travel to these countries, can't afford the plane ticket, well, come to the film festival, see these amazing oh, yeah, uh, no countries doubt. through film. I think we have some video to show of some of the uh, some of the films. Talk about some of the, the different genres, the different types of, of films that you guys are going to be showcasing. Yeah, like documentaries, for example. Okay. We have uh, Andy Garcia, who is in the film called Cachao, and that's a wonderful documentary about the famous musician from Cuba ah. but then we have uh, feature films uh, you know a kind of horror films uh, comedies uh, animation films uh, Antonio Banderas produced an animation film called oh, no, The kidding. Missing Links animation. Uh, he uh, Antonio Banderas also has a, the horror film uh, the uh, the before the fall so there's a little bit of everything uh, for everyone for example for families we have a great family film and a family package for $35 a family of four can see four family films ah. and it all starts this uh, Sunday at March 15th with Dora the Explorer is going to be there. Dora's oh, nice. going to be there live with Diego and all the kids. It's oh, that'll big, be cute. Big family oh, fair. And where is that happening? It's okay. all at the Ultra Star Cinema. Everything takes place at the Ultra Star Cinemas at Hazard Center off oh, okay. the 163 and yes. Fires Road. And that's just exciting. A lot of people don't know, but you know, over 170 films are all at that one place. So you don't ah. have to go anywhere. So you go to that one uh, place. And in the lobby, we have live music. Uh, you nice. get to see the actors and directors. So the families will see Dora. Yeah, I was going to ask you, are you doing like posts? Like sometimes they do chats, you know? Know, with directors afterwards or any events surrounding yeah every, every night starting March 12th okay. uh, you know for example like Hector Jimenez who was in Nacho Libre with Jack Black he's uh -huh. gonna be there okay and so people can meet him at autographs in the lobby beforehand they introduce their films and then afterwards there's a Q&A with them too mm -hmm. and then we also for local filmmakers we have a uh, lots of workshops oh. so if you want to learn about filmmaking uh, on this Saturday there's gonna be a workshop on animation uh, special effects people from Disney and Nickelodeon are coming no down kidding. this a special effects expert from uh, Benjamin Buttons coming down. So again, if you just like l any kind of cinema, any or kind you want to learn sure. about cinema, this is the place to be and learn from these exciting filmmakers that are coming. And it must have, I mean, I'm sure you didn't have all these things 16 years ago when you started. You know, it must have been, it's must, it seems to have grown into this amazing, amazing week. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's, again, it started as a small student film festival. We were at the local universities, mm -hmm. uh, primarily looking at uh, stu student work from all around, around the country, uh, world, really. And now it's exciting to see that some of those student filmmakers are now, you know, big-time feature filmmakers. Their films oh, are with fantastic. focus features. They're, you know, we have a film uh, this year that's called Sleep Dealer. It's a sci-fi film, mm. uh, and it won the Sundance Award last year. Oh, well, cool. that student, Alex Rivetta, he started as a student filmmaker, you know, 16 see? years ago. So now, look, we're, we're seeing the growth. Let's put some information up on the screen really quickly about this event, the 12th through the 22nd, Media Arts Center. It's also at Hazard, the Hazard Center. Yes, the Hazard Center. 170 films. And you can come to our website to find out more information, kwsi.com, and then we'll link it to yours, which is sdlatinofilm.com. Yeah, sdlatinofilm.com. All right, Thank thanks, you. and congratulations, Ethan. Thanks, see you at the festival. All right, see you then.